Hey everyone, it's Cheyenne, and welcome back to Fruits Basket Valentine. Now, where we last left off, I think I was going to say I was staying in the infirmary, but I was going to take care of myself, so let's get into it. Uh... Okay, none of these will work. Okay, so new game. <laughs> um... Blah. I remember falling. I don't know if it hurt or if someone even caught me, but I ended up in the school's fancy infirmary. Uh, skip. How can I forget you? You fruity sap, you. I think you're lying. What? What's my name then? Saturo. I can't tell if you actually knew or if you got a lucky guess. Guess I'm just lucky. Oops. This is troubling. Okay, auto. Or not auto. Uh, skip. Uh, stay in bed. Skip. Neither. Are you sure, Blah? I mean, it's my job to remain in the infirmary. I can say. I think I've already done this, haven't I? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is my level. Walk around the school. What happens if I say walk around the school? And then I say uh okay, um What happens if I walk around with Bo? That was weird. Did I accidentally go backwards? To be honest, I thought you'd pick Saturo. Why? Seriously? Because you have the most obvious crush on both rows mid-sentence. Oh, you probably don't remember that, huh? He laughed nervously. Hey, no worries, it's okay. Bo hesitated to speak another word, but he pushed himself to continue. So, uh, what do you want to see first? I don't really have any place in particular. Oh, right, his banana head dropped a little. But, uh, here's fine. I spoke up, trying to encourage him. Yeah, okay. He raised his head, looking around the courtyard. There, we can sit over there. Bo took my hand almost instinctively, pulling me along with him toward an open bench. When we reached the spot, he suddenly realized what he was doing. Oh, my bad. He quickly released his grip in shock. Hey, it's cool. You seem really comfortable with me. Are we, like, good friends? Well, yeah. I'm your most treasured friend and neighbor, remember? Bo's... Recovery was quick, but he his laugh was half-hearted. He rushed into the next subject. Here, you can sit first. Thanks. We sat on the lonely bench, me admiring the sun-strewn pavement and clear blue sky, Bo seemingly confused about where to place his arms. Uh, if it's more comfortable for you, you can rest your arm on the bench behind me. Oh, yeah, thanks. The banana placed his arm awkwardly behind me, turning his face towards the sky. Uh, nice weather we're having, huh? Uh, yeah, real clear skies. Got any love letters or confessors to meet by the tree this afternoon? I, uh, didn't get a chance to look through my locker yet. Oh, right. The silence was painful, but the conversation even more so. I picked my brain for a more comfortable topic of discussion. When I found something suitable, however, Bo had already spoken. You said some pretty weird stuff in the infirmary. Yeah. So we all have fruit heads, huh? I nodded slowly. What about that guy there? Does he have a fruit head? Bo pointed to a random passerby. His pink hair bounced as he ran across the courtyard. Hey! I could see the sweat droplets forming on his forehead as he passed. His facial features were clear, a round nose, small eyes, and a pair of lips. A perfectly normal head sat on his shoulders. Nope. How about those girls over there? 
Bo motioned toward a group of giggling girls in the distance. Or girls giggling in the distance. Though they were far off, I could easily tell that their heads were normal. No strange fruit shapes whatsoever. Nope, no fruits there, just regular girls. I think it's only you guys who have fruit heads. So when you say we have fruit heads, is it like a bunch of fruits together or we're one distinct fruit? Uh, you've all got like different fruits for a head, like Satoru was a strawberry and Osempai was an orange. What about me? What am I? Uh, wow, uh, your head's probably the weirdest shape of all. What? Really? Bo touched his head as if trying to make out what he was. Hold up, hold up. Don't tell me. Let me guess. I looked at him incredulously. How could he guess what he is if I'm the only one who can see him like that? Uh, sure. Go for it. A melon! I shook my head. No? How about a pear? Uh, not even close. A pineapple, then. Those are pretty weird. Nice guess, but no. You're a banana. A banana? Oh, man. You know I hate bananas. Why am I a banana? What? Why do you hate bananas? I thought everyone liked bananas. They're mushy, The old and the older they get, the mushier they get. So gross. But they're a good source of potassium. I'll get my potassium from another source, thank you very much. That's why you get cramps all the time. Eat your damn banana, Bo. Did you just... Yeah, I think I did. I remembered something. I mean, I remembered something small, but I remembered something nonetheless. A sense of accomplishment <laughs> swept over me, giving me a sudden urge to celebrate. Ooh, I feel like I'm more of a fist bump person. I turned toward Bo, fist primed and ready for a fist bump. Unfortunate, it seemed Bo had another action in mind. Awesome, yo, what else do you remember? He met me with an embrace. <laughs> For some reason, the hug wasn't strange or awkward at all. It felt natural. I was used to this feeling of Bo's arms around me. By now, we had been in a hug for a while, probably longer than socially acceptable for friends. Bo? What's up, buddy? Do we always hug like this? Bo released me from his hug, grasping my shoulders and instead and possibly looking me square in the eyes. Well, yeah. How else would we celebrate our victories? I thought a moment considering what other forms of celebration were appropriate for winning a game. I, you know what would have been really funny? If I like had gone up for a high five and accidentally smacked him in the face as he was leaning to give me a hug, that would be funny. Um, without too much brain power spent, I finally came to the conclusion that hugs were indeed a great form of celebration. Besides, what was a hug between friends if not a hug? Um. What's a hug between anybody, if not a hug? Um, let's go tell the guys. They'll be so excited. Before I could even tell Bo that lunch would be over soon, he ran off towards some building. I found myself chuckling a bit before finally following after him. Yep, and now we're after school. I'd gone on with the rest of the day. Uh, something about Bo. Made me feel complete ease, so complete. Da -da. Were these meant for him? I grabbed the gift for the blah blah blah. I couldn't let all that. Who are these chocolates meant for? So now, if I say Bo, am I still gonna get the same answer? It wasn't hard to find Bo. He was waiting near the school exit. Hey! He sprung to life as soon as he saw me, ready to head over to the gym. Oh, are we not going home? Ding dong! Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just seeing if it ends the same. I think this is all pretty much the same. Uh, sorry, force of habit. No, that's not it. I I pulled the box of chocolate from behind my back. I wanted to give this to you, but probably stared at me with wide eyes. He simply stood there, and unable to move or speak. When he finally was able to talk, he didn't say much. Are you sure? Oh well, yeah, you're my treasured friend and neighbor. Yeah, right. Bo took the box from my hands as if he were obligated to do the favor for me. His hands were stiff, and his motions were rigid. Somehow, yeah, so this is pretty much the same. Well, okay. Hmm. Alright, well that's all we're going to do for today. So, without further ado, I love you guys so much. Stay you. Believe in yourselves because you guys are absolutely amazing. And I mean that. Don't forget that. Don't forget to dance today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.